Hey gearheads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the tech support team bringing you another video. Today we're out of the Foxton in, a, in our demo room and today we're gonna be talking about our brand new PTC camera control application. We wanna make it even easier for you to control your camera from any device, you can, from an iPhone, an iPad, a Mac, Windows, or even Android, we got you covered. So today we're just going to do a little demonstration with the iPhone app. As you can see, there's not much set up. We have our cameras already connected to our network. We have the iPhone as well ready to go. There's not much on the table. You don't need a computer. As long as you have everything pre-configured, it makes it really easy to control over the iPhone. So let's go ahead and dive in. So going over our setup real quick, as you can see, we have two of our award-winning Adamo 4K cameras. We have our regular Adamo and then our Dante-enabled Adamo 4K. Um, they're both connected to our network over PoE. They're just connected to a switch off the scene here, and uh, they're connected to our local network. They have already been pre-configured to match our local network because the first thing when you want to set up, uh, make sure is when you're using the iPhone is that you're connected to the same exact network that your Wi-Fi is connected to. Obviously, there's no wires. Um, these are connected locally with the Ethernet directly. If you have any questions about pre-configuring or networking cameras to get on the network, we have plenty of videos for that. So reach out if you have any questions on that. Love to send that your way. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into the iPhone. All right, diving into our iPhone. As you can see, we've already downloaded our app from the App Store and First thing it opens up is you gotta add your camera. It makes it really easy. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign here. And there's a list of all of our cameras that are supported by the application. Our BG Adamo cameras, uh, all different versions, our UPDZs and our VPDZs. And so uh, our first camera here on our left is our BG Adamo 4K. As you can see also to the right, you can uh, download the manual or open up the manual, which is amazing. So to the left, I'm gonna hit plus. I'm gonna call this uh, Adamo camera name. Let's do a demo 4K. Username and password, uh, it's already filled in, both are admin, and then all I have to do is add the camera IP. So I know it's gonna be a 192.168.40. This is for our local network. So you gotta know what your own network is and what you set your cameras to. And I believe this is 163. So I'm gonna hit continue and boom, pops up right away. There is our camera. And look at that, I can easily start controlling the camera right away. And let's see here, so you can see all the options here. Zoom in, zoom out, kinda wanna speed it all up. So I'm gonna do camera speed. Speed now, now it's moving quick left and right. If I wanted to, I could do full screen for a better, uh, bigger view of my uh, preview. Get the home screen. And go back. Um, if you have audio that's an embedded into the camera, you can listen to it right here with this button right here. And see, as you can see, all the options are pretty self-explanatory. You got your camera speed, you got your zoom speed, presets. This is probably going to be a very important feature for if you're using your i um, your iPhone because you want to have some presets. Got a big light on me right now, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in over here to our TV. And all I have to do is hit the plus sign. I'll take a photo. I'm gonna call this TV, and this will be preset one. Hit continue, as you write that down below. So I'm gonna go back to the home position, and then I'm gonna do another shot. We got our cameraman just chilling. Flow's like, where's Waldo? He's like, gotta, gotta find him in the scene. He's waving right now, hiding out. Okay, and now I'm gonna set up my second preset to one of our awards here. You can tap if you wanna go a little slower. There we go, we'll just call this uh, award. And then we could just be camera, I mean preset two. There we go. And I'm gonna go to the home position. And now I could scroll down to my presets. Here we go, preset one. Screen is refreshing. There we go. And then now I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna scroll down. If you either yeah, gotta tap on the screen to scroll through your uh, presets, and then I'm gonna go to preset two. And boom, makes it very easy. I'll go back to the home position. 
There we go, presets, that's how you do your presets. What else we got here? I'm gonna close this option here. We got our preset speed. So um, if you wanna adjust your preset speed going from one preset to another, you can do that right here. As you can see, it's at full speed. You can adjust your focus. Pretty much every option that you offers in the web interface or even over the remote offers right here. Next option is auto tracking. You can, you can enable the AI auto tracking. So we'll go ahead and do that, make it really easily. So first I'm gonna have our wonderful cameraman uh, flow walk into the scene and then I'll turn it on and it should pick him up really easily. Like if let's say he's the pastor, he's thinking about some things there. He doesn't get out too much. So uh, this is his time out. So this is the animals out of their cage. And there you go, there's the auto tracking. 2023. And then if I want to, I just can easily turn it off and hit go back to the home position and there you go. And then lastly, as you can see, you got um, our tally lights. I can turn those on, we got green, we got red and then off. So there's all your options there. And then, um, so if I wanted to add a second camera, we can do that right here. We'll add our second camera. We got our Dante enabled camera. We'll just call this Adamo Dante and camera IP 192.168.40.173. And then the port is 80. You don't have to change the, uh, the port as well. That's also set in there as well. I'm gonna hit continue and boom, there's our second camera. Really easy, pops up right away. Camera speed is kind of set, kind of slow at the beginning so you can adjust it if you needed. Um, so what I'm gonna do is show you, with the, um, I can add one more preset, or I can add some presets to this guy. Let's just say our preset is uh, over here. We'll add this, call this corner. This will be preset one. And what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna make this a favorite. So, and then I'm gonna go back to my first camera and make that a favorite. And what's great is you can recall both presets almost like at the same time. So we'll make this TV a favorite. I'm gonna put them both in the home position. That's already in home. I'll put my Dante in home. So if I go to the presets and I go to, I'm sorry, that's preset speed. You've got a preset, you go to favorites, you can see both of them should be right there. Yep, I got camera one, which is moving right there and then camera two. So I can control both cameras by the favorites preset, which is an amazing option. Lastly, if you want to, you can adjust all the same configurations here. Um, as you can do in the web interface, you want to change the resolution. You can um, adjust your audio, um, even reboot the camera. You can all you could do it from here, right here. So it makes it very, very, very simple, very easy. If you're at a church or a different environment where you can't access the camera or don't have access to the computer, you can walk around with the phone or an iPad and uh, just have easy access. You have your preview screen. Um, it makes it very uh, simple to use. Well, there you have it, GearHeads, another amazing supported product from BZB Gear uh, for your cameras. Uh, we love this new app because it can do everything and it's very uh, user friendly. Um, so as always, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Hit us up at tech support or even hit up to one of our sales associates if you have any more questions about how to download this or even access that or even network your cameras, whatever it may be, uh, we're here for you. Um, so. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll be notified when more of these videos will come out. And as always, have a great day.